Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, storms, a rare earthquake, volcano, the galactic center, Planck, and the new moons of Jupiter, including one on a collision course. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star. There are no sunspots and no eruptive activity, but one's focus should be on the breadth of coronal holes present on the disk. The solar wind at Earth is calming, but the departing opening should impact Earth tonight or tomorrow while the incoming coronal hole will begin to face Earth and magnetically connect. The coronal holes put together look like a dark pyramid partially obscured by coronal plasma, but they are actually two separate coronal holes. Not really connected, there's just a sparse region beneath the coronal fields between them creating that appearance. Looping blue coronal fields there, red and green coronal holes with their IMF streaming out to directly connect with the planets. It is truly two of them. Most interesting quake of the last day was by far at the 87th latitude north. Seen them there before, but not exactly with any regularity. Let's go next to GOES and find the evening storm explosion in the United States shifting from clouds to long wave and finally adding lightning strikes in there as well. There were twin earth spots born on the convergence line last night which dropped heavy storms in both the upper Midwest and along the northern Oklahoma border. Nice central pulse development on the southern of those systems. Up next, Awesome USGS visualization of the Hawaiian volcano and active crater showing how much the land has been deformed. Over time, wind and rain smooth and erode the terrain, so its noticeable depressions and cracks, those are the ones that are new. I've been staring at this new galactic center image from the South African super radio scopes for a few days now. This is indeed only radio wavelengths. The bubbles around the outside are supernova remnants, and the lines are filaments tracing the galactic magnetic fields. Going to be more coming out of this. Gorgeous. New release from Planck with video available on ESA's website. The galaxy and their perceived view of the microwave background behind them. This is the view of the expansion that catastrophically contradicts modern rates observed in the recent universe. That's that cosmology catastrophe we learned about a few days ago. And last but not least, folks, there are prograde orbiting Galilean moons of Jupiter. Then, a well-known group of further out prograde moons, and in that population, two new ones have just been found. Further out, we have a number of retrograde moons, with nine of those discovered in that population, but one more prograde moon that seems to be a bit lost out there amidst the retrogrades. His navigational shortcomings will cost him dearly, and one of his siblings as well, as this orbit will lead to a collision with another moon in its orbital range. Twelve new moons, prograde and retrograde populations, with one going the wrong way, and doomed because of it. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Website memberships are truly what allow this news to come out for free every day, and between the Deeper Look special series and the podcast there, we are over 500 videos deep that you can only find on our site. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.